and welcome back to 24 to hit. Look, another one has left us here in Melbourne. Sorry, they're both the, 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 the table is so empty. Yeah, we're down, we're down to Jamie tonight. She's not feeling too well, but we, she just came back to life, guys. She needs a break. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all. Say, uh, good tag to uh, good tag to to Dan, who would be in Germany right now. Hey, yeah, lucky drinking, guy. Drinking them steins, uh, wearing them lederhosen's, <laughs> and starring in those um, that's German great. red light films. Like pretzels too, yeah. and sausages. Oh. Stuff just just reminds me of that scene from Euro Trip. They're like. <laughs> get out the fighter parson! Yeah, it's fighter parson! Let's just bring out that big thing. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> hope you're having fun, Dan. Schmetterling. <laughs> Schmetterling. It's butterfly. It just means butterfly. Schmetterling. <laughs> That's an ambulance. All right. Well, my friends, last we left off, you uh, rushed to bring back. Your dead friend Karu, who is still dead in real life. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> slightly right. We, we, we started to sleep on it for a little bit. Before. You slept on it. We slept on it before. We were like, oh, we're going to get going. You found the the great dark bard, Aaron Tandrell. Yes. Uh, who I so lovingly modelled off Ozzy Osbourne and various other rock legends, um, mm-hmm. who sent you into her spirit realm, which yeah. was... A collection of her memories from her childhood. There you fought a image of Garad, to which you had some failure, some success. Mister, I got control in the first yes. five minutes. Yes. Sorry, oh. everyone, <laughs> which is good. And then you had a meeting with the Lord of Lies, Asmodeus. Yeah, it's about 80 eyes now. What are we're, 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 we're eight, 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 80 eyes. absolutely drunk dead eyes. Somehow did some 80 eyes stuff. And that definitely won't come to bite him in the ass at some point. I swear to God. But hey, what are you going to do? With that, you resurrect your, your friend Karu. You made your way back to Black Moss Keep. Yes. That's it. That. Yes, he did. Okay. To which uh, Gerard and Molazar, conveniently, uh, left to go study the arcane divining rod to for Molazar to find the object of his desire. Leaving the rest of Barry in the Hoots here for the first time with some downtime. Well, you're at the keep. Well, can, I make bandy, more, can I make more um, mustard gas grenades? You definitely can. Um, do you have the resources needed for such? At the keep, I would. I'm going to need bleach and ammonia. Okay. Have you got some of them? All right. Make a make an intelligence check. Have we, have we had a long rest since coming back? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, you guys have had a long rest. You've went and seen your family. They've shacked up in a nice little uh, bird-covered tent. Why did okay. they the castle? They didn't realise. Oh. So you've now issued them into the, into the, into the castle. And, yeah, showed them rooms. All right, fine, yeah, I'll issue them to the castle. Yeah. This is where we are. Oh, no, 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 no. Too. <laughs> ah, cats. Go to Pat Barry. Well, Barry is essential. He is essential. Barry, Barry is now patrolling his grounds, looking after all the refugees. Really? Uh, Dead Eye, your father would be here training various people from Narrington to to guard uh, to guard the keep. And a small town is starting to appear around the outskirts of this castle. We were quite the um, quite the brighter people. Yep. I think we've got survivors Orbs. from survivors from like a play that lasted for God for God as how many years and then refugees from that stuff, then my people from yep. our family. Oh. Some people. Yeah. Refugees from Darkton. Mm. They've they've made their way here as well. Your little um, cool I, image is starting to get pretty big. Yep. I got a sorry, the cat 
cat's eating my hand whenever I try and touch the mouse. Um, <laughs> there we go. It's finally left me be. Uh, I got a 19 in intelligence. Oh, roll. you make four mustard gas grenades. Easy done. Perfect. Thank you. Easy enough. So anyone else, like, they have downtime activities, things they want to do here, things they want to look into. Nixer and Karu right. would be off doing girly things. Just, just girly things. I'll elaborate uh, on that when they come back. We're going to have them back next game. Brand is actually very keen for for next games. But yeah, uh, did I? Do you have an idea of what you want to do? Downtime. Uh, so just for the moment, I will uh, come back up to my father um, and yep. say, you know, it's good to see you. And uh, seeing he's been uh, trained, like training people and doing things, I'll just be like, hey, I'll just ask you, you know, how how are they forming up? So, well, they're green, but they're also, you know, twice my age. You're doing well, boy, coming through. Look at the place you built for yourself. Bit different than uh, the crew you've been hanging out with originally. Yes, no. That's been dealt with, as uh, and as you know. I, no, I haven't seen. I haven't seen my father ever. No. You, you helped uh, him come here, halfway here. Yeah. You got to uh, uh, to the the big the big key, but that's as far as you got before Garad appeared out of nowhere and went yoink. <laughs> Just took you. Yeah, I think I believe I took a trophy from Zardor anyway, so I will kind of just like uh, show off my little trophy and be like, "That's been taken care of. I won't fall into that trap to be in such a heinous organization again." Well, you've got a good group here, boy. Just wish you came up with a better name. <laughs> Barry and the oh, Hoots. Yeah. Like, really? Oh, it's as good, good as any. Apparently, apparently he has med- medicinal properties. Um, <laughs> yeah, but... I've never seen an owlbear actually heal people. And yeah, you see this owlbear just going around treating people for wounds <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> Uh, Where'd you find this up. kid? Found <laughs> him in the jungle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll ask as well, with all the uh, new people coming together, it's uh, much more of a diverse um, place as what Darkton was and you know where you've been stationed for the, at the end of the war. Um, how are you adjusting to things and how is everyone adjusting to things? Has there been any divisions, any fights, um, anything like that within um, a whole bunch of new people settling in one area? Well, you're going to have the normalcies of, uh, you know, orcs and people living together. But then these dark blood people, they've been living together for fucking 50 years. So fights are starting out between mainly the the narrated survivors. Because, of course, orcs rampage through their fucking town. But tensions are easing. That wife of your uh, your orc buddy, she's she's putting them in line. Yeah, well, she, she, she can handle Yagnar, she can handle anyone else. <laughs> I believe so, eh? Oh, yeah. um, all right, there we go. Well, I'll, I'll say when you're done with um, when you're done with this lot, uh, would you like to head out and go hunting for old time's sake? I need some supplies, and wouldn't help to have uh, wouldn't hurt to have uh, a shot as good as yours with me. <laughs> he gives you a giggle and he and a laugh, and he's like, "You miss your old man, do you, boy? I'll show you how it's done." Yep, and you guys can spend the rest of uh, the afternoon out in the woods hunting. You do actually surprisingly bag a few good kills, a few deer. The wildlife is starting to return. Karu is quite happy with this. I also, while doing it... Sorry, and we're back. Oh. Maggie had to turn the camera off and it ruined everything. <laughs> <laughs> um... Just die on camera, it's fine. <laughs> 
But yeah, also while, while hunting, want to be going out for any game or any base um, to bring back, but also want to forage a little bit um, using for ingredients to use in my herbalism kit, um, specifically with the aid of my father. Oh, definitely. Um, make a survival or nature check with advantage. Survival or nature, did you say? Yep, whatever's better for you. Yeah, about the same. Uh, 17. 17. Um, yeah, good enough. You find enough herbs and stuff to make. Um, what are you trying to make? Just like a health Healing potion. Potions. Yep. Yeah, you make um, get enough to make um, two greater healing potions. Ooh. Yep. Lovely. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say, yeah, just we're looking, looking up a bit more here. And mm. you've got your father with you, and he's showing you how different herbs work and different tonics he's made for the war effort back in the day yeah and you guys have a rather lovely lovely afternoon yeah you, know, you see this and you you like <laughs> yeah the whole heart time i'm like okay cool i'll be walking around with my kid like my newborn yeah your newborn arm. under one arm you've got your boy and daughter hanging off yeah and i've got i've got um barry just behind me walking around so yeah, yeah. And plus i'm trying to like I would expect since I'm there for the first time there, I'm actually showing them around the place and introduce them to people to well, take them to an actual room. With that, mm. uh, we're finishing up with him. Yeah. You were walking around and yeah. um, your people are treating you quite differently now. You're getting salutes and bows. Oh, okay. Cheating. <laughs> and people are, I mean, people are coming up with predominantly older orcs grabbing your hand mm. like you have found us a new home oh, the yeah. land here is much better things will grow mm. no, that's, i'm now reflecting on the fact that this is what i was to do with, with my father and all that stuff because the whole purpose of me to go out was not just a revenge for the last time but find a more possible place for my family and people and now we have so yeah sadly i didn't see it Ooh. But um, yeah, no, so that's that's good. And then I'm gonna take my kids and walk to like the castle, actually show them where we actually are. Because from what you just told me, they've been sleeping out. Yeah, they, they, to... they've, got a, they've got a lovely tent set up, mm. and your and your wife's like, we have rooms in the castle. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, it's my rooms in there, so I just start walking like there we are. And... The kids have run in and just like, <laughs> they've got their own rooms now. It's just um, one giant giant room like adjacent to theirs and all that stuff. So yeah, that'll be good. With a big Lord Black Harry. Moss comes up and he's like, uh, <laughs> ah, you've, you've done mighty fine work. We have so many new people um, here in the castle now. Ooh. I hope you know what you're doing. Your people are to be trusted, yes? If you can trust me, you can trust them. Trust you as far as I could. Well, actually, wait, no, I could probably I trust you more than <laughs> as far as I can throw you. Yes. He doesn't, he doesn't know what I can do yet, can he? Danny? What's that? He doesn't know what I can do yet, can he? No. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Though you do notice that he is looking sicker. Like he's. he's... I, I probably give him a concerned look, so I'll probably go just go like. How are you managing these days? You seem we haven't been we've been distant for a while to, to all the errands are running, but you, my friend, are seeming very much weaker these days. Unfortunately, with my condition, it's it is progressing. But as I said, you Barry in the hoots. Um, you have fulfilled my my dream bringing back life to my, my childhood home it's all i care about well in your... it will progress and in it will bed. take me in time but it is good to see my my keep spring again i outreach my hand give up like a mighty like prayer handshake like thing you, like, you oh, feel you yeah. feel this weak yeah, but as, as we do that, I'm going to change like in the days to come, in your days already, we'll show you more life to this place. As, I, as would, I very much would like to, yeah. to see that. Good. Like that. So I go for the 
go rest now. <laughs> Amrock, I'm thirsty. Amrock Stickmace comes in, he's like, You've done good. All right. Grabs. Come on, old man. I might do it. Rushes him off. I know we got this up, but I might have, because I know that some of our elders and all that stuff in the group, we heard me in the ritual and all that stuff. Mm. I might inform one of them of um, Lord Black Moss, what's going on with him, and say, look, any herbs or anything like that you can do so to keep ease his pain or stuff, keep an eye out for them too. I'll inform, I can't remember the guy's name was, my brains. Amrick. Amrick, I'll inform Amrick too of that so that we can help any pain and all that stuff and discover his feelings. So we've got that under control. The the old shaman yeah. lady that uh, put the blood down your face in the yeah. duel. It's like yes, yes, chieftain. I will I will look after the old man. Good. I will get the finest herbs. The finest bloods. He will not feel the pain. There is not much we can do for him though. No. She shuffles off into a little pen <laughs> that is just. <laughs> Covered in like bones and skulls and all kinds. We, we right next to a bakery <laughs> that someone set up that American. We have our medicine woman. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Dr. Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> I just killed Tyson. Oh, I'm dying already. All right. Anything a guy would like to do? Uh. Spend some time just kind of collecting things that I can use as rations. As rations? Yeah. Like small dead bugs and oh, just rubbish and bits and pieces and bits of uh, food and scraps things that I can find. Oh, you find We just find the bakery. You just behind the bakery. Someone threw out. Yeah. Yeah. Someone threw out stale bread rolls. Yeah. Someone threw out like a whole a, a chicken leg with a few bites on it. Those like eat. Rations. Yeah. You feed it to to. Matthew <laughs> McConaughey <laughs> for you. <laughs> I'm still hoping you p- use that that spell one day. Uh, uh, it's 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 there. It's, there. it's, it's, there. it's, it's definitely there. there. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. I'm going to say you spend a few days having fun, having a good time here at Black Mosque. I say on day three. Alana, you're spending your day tinkering yep. with certain things and making more bombs, and then you hear a familiar voice in your head. Hello, darling. We've been hearing a lot about you recently. We're wondering if you and your friends would like to come home and have a dinner party with us tonight. It has been so long and we've been worried so dear about you. I will be kind of like, oh, I probably should reply. Is it like it has been a bit? And I do feel a bit rude. You can reply. Just to be... Yeah. Yeah. No, all right. I'll be like, oh, look, I'll, I'll ask, but I'll let you know. Because it is a group decision. Mm. Some time goes by and you just hear back in your head the familiar voice of your mother going, Excellent, dear. We'll r- arrive within the hour. Good to oh, see wait, you. Oh, you're coming here? <laughs> oh, I thought, I, I, thought I was going there. No I hate unannounced visits. <laughs> I mean, my character hates unannounced visits. <laughs> um, oh, no, the, she will bring, No, no, we'll bring you here. You know how oh. this works. All right, I'm going to go try and find everyone in a rush. <laughs> now I'm rushed. <laughs> Uh, this is this is textbook your parents. Just out of the blue, yeah. making decisions for <laughs> you, and giving you no choice whatsoever. So yeah, yeah you run probably. around. Yagnar's with his family. You're under a bridge somewhere. Little <laughs> mm-hmm. bridge somewhere. <laughs> Nixa and Karu are gallivanting around, <laughs> being. Fire and ice. Dead eyes with his dad. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you just made his own little bridge of your own somewhere, like, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a breach. Like it's like a body breach, you're just covering your chest and it just stinks. Yeah, you you haven't even been back with your dad for like a few days, and I'm like, anyway, my family adventure. <laughs> oh, good. So, what are you doing to get all your friends together? Um, I'll be like, look. To be honest probably not going to be as fun and action-packed as what we've been doing with everyone else's like families but the oh, food's no. pretty decent she goes oh my god i lost my parents i don't know that was fun, <laughs> 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 that fun. <laughs> i got their head <laughs> uh. yeah i'll just you know <laughs> Be like, look, we kind of kind of have to because they don't really take no for an answer. They don't really understand boundaries. So this is like black tie. Oh, I don't, wait, I don't know what black tie is. Um, no, no, just wear whatever you want. I don't care about that. Like, I I still have ammonia on me, so I smell like piss. <laughs> <laughs> and so, bleach. Like, I'll, I'll look at very you. Just imagine Nixon going, I, I've never noticed. <laughs> I'll just... Look at Alana. Okay, so that's that's the standard we know because I don't know what black tie is. I'm from the sticks, from the deepest parts of it. I have no idea what fancy is. The fancies I've seen is the chads at um, um carnival. Carnival, <laughs> yeah. But whatever's comfortable that's is my thing. my rule. So you know. Uh, what, what's yeah. it? Oh, you go. I was like, I, I'll wear my, uh, I'll wear my our, our chemical allure <laughs> um, big suit that I did with all the. It's only on the inside. I've got a suit that. Uh, what's up? And with uh, with my mask, I'll, I'll go get that. I'll I'll come. I'll help you prepare. <laughs> Thank you. Because I hate doing this. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys all get cleaned up as best you can. You just um, rub more dirt on yourself. I will say as well, just try to try. Right. 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 I mean, I don't semi semi yeah. PG because they they do get a bit like. I bathed in the river. Uh, you um, know. Under the <laughs> They're a bit more refined. They get really in your face about it. It's annoying. Yeah, yeah. You, just, you, you. Sorry, just, just quickly, um, as we're all leaving, if we get, if we're um, like leaving to get ready after she's round us all up, can I uh, try and uh, sneak the last little remnants of things that I got in Carnival into Alana's pocket? Yep, that's your oh. thing. Make any um, sleight of hand check to plant drugs on Alana. <laughs> Natural twenty. <Jacob. 20. laughs> Do sure I have enough. to roll against that? Um, you, it's you, a natural you, 20. <laughs> natural 20 for a total of a what? Oh, uh, one second. I'll get my mother. Oh, shit, I forgot about the additional ones. Because <laughs> you could definitely make a perception check. Come on. you gotta beat a 20, you got to beat a 29, Mads. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I can. <laughs> oh, I could get... Actually... Uh, if I rolled a natural 20, I could get 30. Yep, go for uh -huh. it. I go for it. Perception or investigation? Maybe perception. Perception, perception, yeah. You gotta... I'm not going to get <sighs> that 20. Yeah, nah. Nine, oh, 19. Actually, wait. <laughs> wait. At 19, it'd have you on 29 with me, wouldn't it? No, 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 because that's already got my plus five added to it, and then I only get plus five from my Flash of Genius, so I'd only get up to 24. No. Ooh. No, no. You're very perceptive, but you're, you're too stressed out about your parents, you know, coming, grabbing you and your mates and taking them all back to your childhood home for dinner. That, uh, dead yeah, and then I just... have to write the note saying Jacob plants drugs on me. Yep, and Jacob, <laughs> then I plants <laughs> drugs. Like, well, we're also too, like to make sure we're not carrying. We're just going in normal attire. Is that it? Like just casual. Oh, you're taking your usual stuff. Yeah, you? okay, I'm taking our gear with you. Okay, sweet. I had to make sure that was. You're not leaving your crap there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, you're allowed to take weapons. Like we're not animals. Yeah. I um, don't know. Right. This is all new to me. You're allowed. <laughs> your your family. It's like, this is a thing that you do. Yeah. You go do this. We'll stay here. The next uh, formal event, I'll invite you, honey, and we'll come. You'll be you and me coming to this together. Um, 
your father's like, yeah, no, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I remember the fucking Mithil Barons. Too uptight for my taste. You have fun. Right. The rest you're me, then. You. You're good, says old Dino right. Senior. I like you. You're not so up your own ass. No offence. I say goodbye to all the rats in the castle. All the rats. You've named every single one. Just lined up in a row like a symphony. Yes. With tiny little, uh, tiny little white skirts. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Ratty Broderick. Ratty Broderick. Yeah. Was it um? Ratty Danny Danny Jr. I've got that one. I don't know why that one. That was a yeah, terrible yeah. one, but I had it. Red, Ratty Danny Jr. Yeah, yeah. Ratty Danny Jr. Yeah. Ratty uh, Perry. Ratty Perry. <laughs> yes. That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we really have a little, rat a little bit. Rat, rat Damon. Damon. <laughs> We're not Rat Sinatra Jr. <laughs> what happened? Rat Dardo uh, DiCaprio. <laughs> that was in there. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. So you all gather Bobby up. Rat in the... <laughs> <laughs> huh, no one likes him. <laughs> he's he's uh, shunned by the rat community. <laughs> Patrick Bozeman. <laughs> so you all gather up into in the uh, in the main foyer. Yep. As out of nowhere pops the familiar faces of the two well dressed, tall, golden haired high elves. They just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, it would be it would be white hair actually. We're moon white high elves style. Oh, okay, white hair. No, darling, and both to your mother and the father, uh, Navina and Willathan, Mithilbar, give you a nice big hug. It is good to see you are still in one piece, darling. And your father's like, yes, dear. We heard you went to the Magisterium. Did you finally join up? Look, I delayed it. I've deferred my enrollment. We did have a chat about this about 88 years ago. <laughs> I'm just not ready yet. Fair enough, darling. But at least you've taken that first step. It's I had a, we see. got a tour. We got a tour around. That was cool. And you've seen the remarkable areas that you could learn and, and apply proper magics. I think real world experience is more valuable in this day and age because what am I going to get? going to get a degree of fine magical arts and then uh, what am I going to use it for? You get a cool yeah. cloak. Like, I got a cool cloak. I signed up. Yeah, some oh. other stuff happens. Oh, are you, but that's are you now training at the Magisterium? <laughs> yes. Wait, Barry has one too. Look, you see Barry in the background just walking around with his on. <laughs> yeah, um, Navina leans in and she's like, I'm just letting anyone join. <laughs> That's, don't be discriminatory. Oh, sorry, dear. Sorry, I didn't mean to be. Come on, we, we're old, but our values should Leave be at least a little bit more. Indeed, indeed, we're trying. I will to also be say, when they come to hug me, I'm going to be real awkward about it. Yeah, I can, I can imagine you just being awkward. Yeah, like the arms, like of it. <laughs> so, is everyone uh, together? Um, I see you're missing um, the old Ben that was here. Or... Oh, yeah, he's just he's doing his own thing for a while. It's all good. He'll come back. Well, well please, gather around, gather around. Uh, join hands. This is, um, you've, have you teleported before? Yes. You have? Times. He was the mage that uh, transported Did you. Did we go through all of them? Does that count? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're good. You now. have been teleported too. Yeah. Grant has teleported. Yeah, true, but of course. Yeah. Well, everyone hold hands. Make sure we're all here. Is the our bear coming as well? Uh, um, yeah, actually, yeah, he is coming. I want him there. <laughs> okay, continue. Your father just I'm puts a hand on him. I'm also like purely <laughs> saying that because I know it'll fuck my mum off, and I think it's funny. So, Love it. So, ready? Three, two, one, and the air is pulled from your lungs again as everything goes black. And then you're in this beautiful foyer filled with paintings and sculptures and marble pillars. It, and looking around, you can see the paintings are 
family portraits of the Mithil Barons. So both parents and baby Ilana, teenage Ilana, Ilana covered in soot. Alana unfortunately washed up and not very happy about it. Just everywhere through here. I'm looking at the baby face. It's like, oh, wait, wait. They're the same person. <laughs> it was it was a few hundred years ago now. I wouldn't. The artist is dead. I wouldn't really. I didn't like his work that much, to be honest. Alana, make a perception check. Me? Yes. Wait, a what check? A perception check. Oh, no, I don't want to. I get so nervous. Why am I? I don't like being the center of attention. Um, 19. You're looking around, you know, like, yep, yeah, my family home. Then you look at your parents, who now have worried looks on their faces. Because they just stand there looking at each other, like. What's up? Darling, forgive us. I'm going to be so... Oh, what do they... Do they just betray me? The doors in this foyer swing open and a contingent of violet guard pour into the room, surrounding your group. Muskets all drawn at you. Coming from the main door is a very well-dressed officer, his hair slicked back. Um, in his older years, a human, he walks in. Barry in the hoots, I presume? No. Indeed. Lady Alana Asteria Barol Mithil Baron. By decree of his internal highness, King Henry Elantra, you are to be placed under arrest. Grounds. A smile creeps across the officer's face as he walks and gets right in yours. War crimes, my dear. I was going to be like, um, where's the Geneva Convention, Kyle? <laughs> well, let's start that, War train. crimes? I don't even know there was war crimes. I've never been in a war. How can I commit war crimes? Oh, you'll find out, young lady. The rest of you are being detained for questioning as well. Uh, Mithil Barons, uh, thank you for your cooperation. Please, we, we, we agreed on the grounds that she would not get the death penalty. She's like, well, we will see. I'll try all we know in the next couple of days. I'll be like, you know what? I finally get to say it back to you guys. I'm not mad. But I'm very disappointed. <laughs> they, they threatened us. They, they said we needed you to get you. What did they threaten you with? You're dead. They said if we could get you here soon, with, you could go on trial, that you'd probably serve maybe 100 years. Oh, no, I don't want to serve 100. That's boring. Oh, sorry, darling. We couldn't let them chase you down and execute you. Thank you. That's actually quite sweet, but... Don't bring my friends into it. She'll just on me. They were part of the deal as well. Oh, but they can't all live to over a hundred. They, they're like enough. Please surrender your weapons. Yes. Question: Just before um, this goes any any further, as all, as we were there, like when we were teleported, just before anything happened uh because i can't be surprised because of my feet yep would i be able to even if i have to roll for something to see if i could if i had a bad inkling and if i could have yep. darted off do you want to dive off and try, like well, see if yeah. i could see if i can i like i you can, would have yeah it before, would have... Before, before they all flooded in that i'm either hiding or i've escaped or something like that well you are you have alert yeah yes yeah, as soon as you were, like arrived in that room, you could see and you had that feeling, yeah, now this is an ambush. Uh, was it was there was there anywhere like was it perfectly set up or like are we just in a foyer? There's no you're, you're, you're in a middle foyer that came in from like every every opening, a like, door, mm -hmm. room, everything that were they were placed there to surround you. 
and, and take you in. They knew who they were dealing with. They knew what you could do. You could, you definitely could attempt to get away if you want to. Mm. But nothing violent has been, has happened. This is a textbook arrest. Uh, yeah, I might actually. Yep. All right. You know what to do. Roll, roll your stealth check as you get into this room and realize, yeah, now nah, something's going down here. Just fine to see that I'm a clump inside it. <laughs> uh, we don't. Well, even the first one was a 16 anyway. The stealth is 29. 29, yeah. So sure enough, in the hubbub of them all coming in the room, you just, you know how to just disappear. But instead of disappearing, I'm going to say that you had blended in with the guard. You've taken a few seconds, because I reckon you have, in your travels, nicked yourself a uniform at some point somewhere. If I can blend, if I can blend in anyway, I can. Oh, if I only need to blend in for a minute. I, I, I've got a disguise kit too. Yeah, yeah. So sure enough, you disguise yourself as one of the <laughs> in the situation, so I can keep you in the situation. Um, hey, so, Jacob. <laughs> the main officer comes up to you, Alana. Yeah. Um, with a set of manacles. So. Are you going to cooperate? Is that that they are awfully made? <sighs> Ever the keen eyes always, and as he clamps them down onto your wrists. Your... Are they actually awfully made? Yes, they're terrible. <laughs> your... Can I do any check to see if there's an easier way to get out of them? Oh, Not now, but yeah. in the future. Yeah, you definitely can. Um, what would that be like? A... Uh, you would do like an intelligence or an investigation check to like pick them or fuck with them. Um, the rest of you are, you know, detained as well. Um, looking around, they're like, two of the group are missing. Where is the old man? And where is Damon Downstride? The old man's dead. Yeah, he cocked it, yeah. finally. Another guy comes up with some papers and they're looking at the whisperings. Very well. If it seems you've been travelling with a younger gentleman as well. Oh, Where is he? He, he? He's gone. He's back at the Magisterium. He was just out tour guide. Mm. Inquire within the Magisterium. We need that individual here as well for questioning. Now downstride. Where is he? You know, his his reputation. He doesn't stay around with anyone for too long. I wouldn't know where he is anymore. He looks at the, the group. You three, search the grounds. He's shifty. He might be hiding here. He pointed at two guards and you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, was going, I was going to follow anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we know which one he is, or no? no. You, 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 he was there one minute, and now he's just gone. <laughs> but I know he probably would have heard me, right? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm assuming Maggie's parents and his yeah, right. like Alana's parents would just be like, we, we had him. <laughs> yeah, we, we brought him. He was there. He said goodbye to his father and everything. Wait, 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 wait. His name's Downstraw? I thought it was Dead Eye. <laughs> <laughs> I just assume he picks a new name every week, so I just went yes. with it. Enough. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say will be held against you in a court of law. And trust me, we will bring that up. Can I get a sandwich? You're, get a okay, sandwich? I will say one thing. <laughs> Your king is a piece of shit and I don't agree with his policies. Well, don't worry. He'll be overseeing your trial <laughs> personally. Fantastic, thank you. Take him to the Violet Citadel. Sorry, I don't know why I'm being such a spammy little it's shit like, tonight. It's the vibe. Your parents are like, just cooperate, darling. It'll all be over in a few years. 
Elves. No, I'm not even talking to you guys at the moment. I'm still <laughs> mad about before. That's not on. <laughs> as you say, as you're being whisked out the, at the main Yeah, room. I bet you are literal teleportation wizards. Do better. <laughs> Sorry, darling. The rest of you are marched out into the the main square of the Middle Baron Lodge. So how are we being so we're not detained like she You has. have guards. I have guards. Okay, sweet. Oh, so oh, I'm just trying to figure out how they're doing that with the fact that we've got an owl bear with us. <laughs> oh, you be three men trying to wrestle this owl bear. Okay, I'm gonna walk like I'm gonna be able to say, can you not do that? And like and I'm gonna be go Barry, follow up, and it's gonna be like Walking. Barry just gives these guards like the eye and they're like, have an actual fucking owl bear. I'm also <laughs> going to say that that is a protected species <laughs> under the care of a noble house. I will counter sue you for animal abuse. It's also a doctor. <laughs> I hate also, being noble, but I remember the shit. Not, I remember the rules, Kyle. No, he will squawk and make sure with his metal grid that we are cared for <laughs> and our uh, health and safety is. Just bring the bear. <laughs> It better be in the exact same condition. Otherwise, you'll hear from my lawyer. <laughs> oh, don't worry. You'll have time to pick one, too. Oh, we'll get the best one out there. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to pull the rich kid card because I can finally do it. Excellent. Woo! <laughs> you are all marched out into this main um, main courtyard. It is a yep. beautiful garden surrounded by um, high walls. It is sitting on top of a hill looking down to the main city proper, which is beautiful. White marble buildings stretching up to the sky with gold accents on them. Um, The hustle and bustle of um, the area's biggest city. You are in the capital city of Atlanta now. Myrtle. What's the name of this city? Myrtle. Myrtle. So I'm guessing you and I feel very out of place. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the sun is shining on a cloud in the sky, but in the sky you can see griffins, hippogriffs, other flying creatures. I will um, mention to them, I'll be like, look, it looks nicer, but it's just as dodgy as the other ones we've been to. Mm. I hope so. Um, looking down, you can see the main port of Myrtle, huge thousands, thousands of tall ships just coming in and out and docked. As I can't believe you're three. getting me for war crimes when I made war crimes at the start of the session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that yeah, comes up because when they search action. you, they find those grenades that you had made. <laughs> and also what... Um, be... also and the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the bag the drugs. of... Yeah, and it's drugs. They're just saying, yeah, you, know, you, got, you got possession as well. <laughs> I've gotten framed by my teammate yeah. accidentally. You are issued down through the streets as um, people are, are talking and whispering. And Alana, you hear, is that, is that the young mistress? Some said she was off blowing people up. Others say they were whispers, shame! <laughs> no. <laughs> and you arrive at a... Bring a, out your dead. Bring out your dead. <laughs> and you arrive at a giant... I don't know who is involved doing that. In the middle of town, surrounded by a moat. <laughs> guards are placed <laughs> guards are placed on the roof and at the front, all ready for your arrival as you're issued in and placed into individual cells. I know I'm being said Barry's not gonna be good with that. How are we doing with that? Oh, he's been shoved in one with you. They've oh, okay, cool. the easiest way. Yep. Just give it to the orc fella. <laughs> I'm still just going to say the reason I got out of this whole situation, like this whole thing in the first place, is because they just shun the common worker. I've decided I'm going full communist. Everyone just go with it. (laughs) Because this, I'm an artisifer. I'm part of the union, Tyson. Of course I'm going to be a communist. (laughs) But like, this is not taxpayer money. Not even my family had to pay for any of this. Am I rich as hell? (laughs) <laughs> right so one by one you are left in these cells by um spread out mm-hmm. you don't really have much contact with any of your other friends and one by one you are plucked from your cells and taken to a room by two of the violet guard 
But we'll start with you, because it's easy. You're ushered into a, a, a blank room. That's one wooden table, a chair, with two chairs with these two guards there. See you yeah. Uh, Yagna Darkblood, yes? Yes. Uh, please take a seat. Alright, that's it. That's it. So, okay. Uh, according to our records, you are uh, the new cheater of the Dark Blood Clan. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Indeed. Uh, how did you achieve said position? Through our tribe's normal methods of that, where my estranged uncle killed my father and mother, and I killed him in a trial of combat to regain title of my um tribe. And for our normal, our normal tribe ways. All right, uh, let the record show that uh, I murder, broke a lot there. Uh, <laughs> murder, regicide, and uh, fratricide. Excellent. Um, wait, 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 wait. What's murder and all that stuff? Oh, you, you murdered your your own kid. Like, um, you luckily, me? you are out of the uh, jurisdiction of Elantra in the north. But um, that will be taken into account when we uh, question you. Wait, wait, sir. Um, being charged for stuff that's. Sir, how long have you known uh, Lady Alana Asteria Barrel Little Baron? I don't know the rest of her name, but Alana. Um, I don't know how long we're doing this for now. <laughs> um, since our quest to Black Mosquito, is when I've known her. Yeah. Were you uh, involved in the manufacture of any of her uh, devices? Her weapons? I don't have the knowledge for that. I'm a person from from the great the great north where the, where we don't have guns. I have no idea what a, I've never seen a gun or a weapon like that until my time at Black Boss. All right. So where did she acquire the? Uh, Equipment to uh, make these busts. I think you're forgetting that I don't know this stuff. Whatever this is she has gathered is not of my... Not my forte. And what would the effect her devices had on her victims? You mean... Leave you going for law and order on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have been planning <laughs> this. So, who are the I'm thinking counterpoints, so it's all good. We have records of certain victims uh, that have died due to various effects. Uh, we have witnesses. We have uh, people that we have actually pulled from different planes of existence that she has sent. Like the planes of existence, that's awesome. The only device I remember is... For a job, we ha the job was requested by a Pepper Valiant lady who requested us to help take down these this dark orc tribe or orc chieftain. What was his name? Uh, Zardoz Willow Fire. Yes, yeah. we were requested to take him down. So one of the devices were used in this altercation? That's the only time I remember, yes. Excellent. Thank you for your time. You can return him to his cell and two guards come in and pick you up and off they go. Uh, bring us the dirty one. <laughs> guy, you are issued into this cell. Uh, like guy, sticks, like, <laughs> your name is Guy? Maybe. Sometimes. You can call me man or dude. Well, this guy's so guy. Or the thing in the shadow. How long have you known Alana Asteria Barrel? Um, Mythal Barrel. Uh. Is that her name? Have you helped create any of her devices? Technically, Alana Asteria Barrel. Laurel Mythal Barrel. <laughs> they can't pronounce your name either. Don't <laughs> worry. Uh, probably. You see them writing down notes and looking at you. Excellent. Uh, where did you acquire the resources to make set devices? Just around. Uh, was she aware of the destructive nature of her devices? 
Oh yeah, is... yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> Distress. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Mr. Um, guy, dude, man. Sir. We will, uh, we'll let you go. And they take you back to your cell. Jedi! You mm-hmm. are not there. So you no. are just watching this proceedings happen inside this... Uh, Do they have two-way glass there? No. Damn. <laughs> It's, a, it's it's been the one guy, and has it been like in the one day, or yeah, this is all happening in the one day. Yeah, uh, you yeah. see the uh, you see Nixa and Karu get taken in for questioning. You've seen these two guys go. Um, you're milling around as a guard in the Violet Hold, and I'd say yep. because you being you uh, evading detection quite. Quite efficiently, because everyone is too concerned of what's happening with a noble being arrested. Yeah, um, while I, while I'm around too, can I uh, use perception to talk anything about the case or where they're hiding any files, so on and so forth? I have a few ideas. Okay, um, yeah, make a perception investigation to see what you can find around. Oh, natural 19, so I'm rolling. I'm rolling pretty well today. Nice. Um, perception, oh yeah, uh, dirty 30. Dirty 30. You are <laughs> scouring this, um, this keep. You are just a face in the crowd. You have been given certain assignments like, here, can you take this file uh, about this? Uh, Varen down to the interrogation room, please. Yeah, uh, because okay, beautiful. Because that's what I'm kind of looking for. Any type of files, or uh, specifically, even uh, with perception check. Yeah, I was looking for information about files. Um, if yeah. I'm around to, I may dirty, also. Like you just get handed to you, mate. <laughs> I may also, if I get the if I get the time while I'm around, because if I want to take the time to in that um, be as perceptive as I can of the investigating officer. Excellent. And uh, while, while I'm around, I kind of want to look for his office too. Yep, sure enough. You, you f- easy enough. Um, his office is on like one of the top floors. You find out okay. his name, um, Lord Gordon Salwer, mm-hmm. um, a high-ranking military um, professional turned um, investigator. Yep. Um, reading the files you have, it is a comprehensive um, database of everything Alana has done on her travels with Barry and the Hoots. Remarkably, starting with the attack on Black Moss Keep and the uh, the bag and bag incident, going on to oh, um, <laughs> um, drug laced bullets. This is. Her. This is just your revenge for all my bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> a little bit. I've had this plan for a while. This is great. Um, also, her drug laced bullets, um, the mustard and chlorine gas she has made, um, the fact that she now has a walking um, robotic death machine that she uses to kill and set people on fire. Um, and to heal. Nothing in this file states that she has ever done anything to heal or help <laughs> anyone. Mm. Uh, it is a slanderous. Corruption. Yep, is slanderous so. accounts of thing. Also, you find notes that a hobgoblin and a goblin have been pulled back from the astral realm. And now to be used as um, corroborating witnesses <laughs> against her in trials. Um, a skull has been acquired from the Willow Fire Wanderers to be uh, interrogated via spell to her uh, heinous gas attack. Um, yep. A cultier um, noble has come forward as. Um, a higher up of the assassin that you guys had so sorely executed on sovereign soil. Assassin, did we kill? We did kill an assassin. 
Well, I think the assassin bit down on a on a, an exploding bullet. Oh, I don't yeah, think we actually killed her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, but this oh, is all that one. This, this is all what this file is saying. Oh, so it's all um, all the stuff. So all the stuff that we've done that's supposed to be heroic to help people is all being tainted. Um, that every one of the party members will be called up to be interrogated in the trial. Um, and also, High Tinker Bran, Alana's old tutor, an old gnome gentleman, will be brought in to explain his involvement in teaching her how to create such deadly weapons of mass destruction. I learned myself. I'm not involved in this, but I want to defend this character I didn't know existed till right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, is being an artist of her illegal in No, area? but Alana is the first person to use chemicals in, in spells. She is right. technically Chemical now, warfare. in my world, one of the highest levels, leveled artists in existence and one of the smartest. Oh, and this is all coming because what's happened is since the original last up to yeah. they've now gone bitch. Like security. Yeah. yeah, and now they've got another person to climb as a, as a bad person, so they need to... It has yeah. got that high. And yet they don't, we didn't go after the necromancer on my team, just the <laughs> chemical fiend. Well, that's that's the thing. Um, you, in your rounds, did I? Because you can roll low. Um, find out they're scrambling to try to find Mulazar yep. and you. Okay, um, I know what I'm going to have to roll with this. I'm not great at it, but I, I, a few things that are popping into my mind. But first and foremost, how much can I recall about the Elantran justice system from anything that I would know? Yeah. Um, like how fair it is, whether it's like a normal justice, so on and so forth, just... That's what I'm asking. I know what I'm going to have to roll. <laughs> uh, yep, history check. Go for it. Um, going to say two. Um, Ten. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, I didn't do my modifier. But... Novak, what about that lady that was for the Violet Guard too? That um, Lady five... Amina Gallenwood. Yeah. Yeah, like... they have her on record. Uh, okay, and um, I'm trying to avoid bringing her in. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, um, a she's the one a, a, legitimate justice in the world, and and I, and I so I know I know all that too about the, yep. that lady. Um, yep. I rolled a I rolled a twelve um, for uh, my history for check for Elantra justice system. It is usually fair. It is this mm -hmm. this city is a, like a shining beacon, though um, over the past couple of years, you would know, um, the young king Tandrin has disappeared. Um, and his uncle um, <laughs> has uh, assumed the role of king himself. Um, the yeah. way uh, um, kings and queens and all that in between are crowned in um, the Lantern Society is by a birthright destined by a thing called the Sword of Sovereigns. Um, when one monarch dies, the sword will disappear and magically reappear in the hand of the next true monarch. Um, this happened with Tandrin. Then when he disappeared, it happened to Hendry, the new king. Um, each king and queen has been a just, benevolent ruler. Um, Henry, on the other hand, is very self-centred, greedy, egotistical. It's very out of ordinary. For for a uh, a king or a queen, but he has sort of sovereigns, and that's that's it. Nobody can question that. So, so is everything. He human? So, yes, these are all humans. So uh, ev everything he's everything he says is law. Yes, yes? and um, so there is, there there is no set laws that he can does because what do because what I was uh, going on was kind of you know, if there would be any type of uh, a lantern mistrial and I was going to try and <laughs> plant documents that get her out of it. <laughs> well, you do um, overhear that um, the judge, there will be no jury for her trial. Mm -hmm. He, the king, will be uh, personally overseeing and making the decision himself. Mm. This yeah. is a, um, a, a high treason sort of case 
Yes, uh, well, that, that kind of goes on to one of, the, one of the other things I wanted to do. Um, so I've, I've, I found out where the head prosecutor is. I'm assuming that head prosecutor would be like pretty much under the king, like the general law and order, yes. being, the level, being the level of what this is. Uh, can I try and enter while I will also check for traps, alarm, anything like that? Uh, enter his office. Uh, enter his office, yes. All right, yeah, make an investigation check for traps and things. Your stealth check is high enough for you to be blending in and being crazy. Um, while he's doing this, obviously I don't know he's out doing that. My investigation check before for the shitty manacles was 18. Yeah, you, you have managed to slip them off quite easy and are just sitting in a cell. I'm going to pretend just... to keep them on. Yeah. But they're, they're not attached very well. Excellent. Don't worry, we'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> oh, good. Just wanted to make that point because yeah. I don't want to be a smarmy little asshole. To Mag, uh, me or to Max? Uh, Jedi first. Uh, okay, so investigation was a dirty 20. Um, sure enough, you bypass semi-magical um, alarm spells and mm -hmm. um, other other various things around the main door. He is off in the bows doing interrogations himself. He is questioning witnesses. Um, inside you find, you know, his big wooden desk. He's... Um, Filing, wooden filing cabinets, all which are locked and trapped themselves. Okay. Uh, <laughs> does he have a desk himself? Yes, well? uh, main, main desk. Because so, what I would specifically be looking for would either be incriminating information or intelligence that he has gathered perhaps of the king or any of the king's close personal confidants, whether it be a mistress, anything like that. All right. Um, uh, there is nothing on his desk, like, out for you to just grab. I, I, but... I'd be, like, looking for any secret compartment or something that's not directly in the filing, because I don't think even filing locked, et cetera, general things would have any information on the ruler directly. Mm. Well, you're looking being for secret a, being compartments. A sneaky, and, being a sneaky little thief that I am. Yeah, looking for secret compartments and other other areas. You don't find any secret areas. Like you did the whole, like, pull your hand under each thing, tap certain areas. Um, but he has magically locked his main desk. Now, I do believe you know a little bit of magic now. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to try to bypass these magical locks, it will require arcana checks, but it is possible. It will be high for you, though. And you know this. You know, like, shit. Like, if you had fucking Molazar here, you think, oh, God, we could fucking get through this. No, no problem. But fuck me. Uh, <laughs> this is a bit... A bit above your pay grade and, and what you have learned so far. Is he still within 30 feet of me? Uh, no. He would be okay. well out of that range. Up. You'd be down, you know, in the dungeons. Oh, good. Sweet trick. I want to try something. Just, I don't know how, I don't know how this will work. Yep. But, uh, well, if it'll work at all. But I remember I'll kind of uh, glance at a ring that I'm wearing on my finger and memories from uh, when I first came to procure said ring mm. um, of certain someone talking in my head after he knew I put it on or off. So I'm going to take it off, put it back on and uh, try and communicate with Gerard. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But... <laughs> I kind of like this. All right. So I want you to make uh, make an arcana check for me. It's a flat arcana check as he, you go. Uh, <laughs> just see my. Plus two to arcana. Nice. 14. 14. Yeah, 13. Sorry. 13. Sorry. 13. 
the eleven. As, you, as you're doing it, you, you're like, "Fuck!" Can I get his attention? And the thought goes in your head: It's like it wasn't when you put the ring on; it was when you took it from the display case. Yes. That he he caught you with it. No, it was when I attuned to it. No, no, when you took it originally and you put it on, mm. then the voice got in your head. You guys are, ah, so you're taking these. Okay. Yeah. So he had an alarm system set up on the display case when you took it. All right. If you rolled higher, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, worth it, worth it, worth yeah. a try, worth a try. I was going to try and get, I was going to try and get Garad's magical assistant. Um, Unfortunately, you're on your own here, buddy. Tampering with evidence in a treason case. <laughs> nice. Uh, the one check you can't get 35 on automatically. <laughs> Is that it? I'm just seeing if I can do anything else. Sorry. Sorry, no, I'm I know. I know. I know, no, I'm ta- no, I'm taking up. No, I'm taking up. Oh, I know I'm taking up time. I was just seeing if there's anything else I can do. Well, nah, look, that, I look, I'll let you I, have I, I'm, ju- I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm just going to give it a crack because that was the only thing really I'll magical I can do. I'll let you sit here and have a think for a little bit. Then okay. I'll switch over to um, Alana. You are uh, picked up from your cell and moved into an interrogation room and sat down like forcefully in front of these two investigating officers. They're like. Lady Alana Asteria Varol Little Mythel Varen? Is that correct? If he... No, that's not correct. <laughs> What's the point of arresting someone if you can't even pronounce the name right? Your name is too long. <laughs> Do you understand why problem. you're here? Uh, yes, corruption. No. Well, you hear it from one of the other <laughs> officers. We have detailed records of your heinous acts and devices you have made and unleashed on unwilling participants. Do you deny this? Yes. Very well. And they pull up one of your grenades and put it on the bench. Is this one of your devices? Yes. Now, this spews out a gas, yes? Yes. This gas attacks the respiratory system of the poor individual that breathes it in, yes? And they pull up uh. your gun. It's like, is this your weapon? Yes, we're allowed to own guns. Indeed. But... The ammunition on here has been laced with narcotics. Was that your doing? Maybe. Do I get legal counsel? Actually, no, it's not do I get legal counsel. I do get legal counsel. You want your lawyer? I do. We'll assign you a lawyer. No, I want my family's official lawyer. They talk to each other. Unfortunately, it is unavailable this time. We can provide you with one, or you can appoint one yourself from the available candidates. Police corruption. Yeah. I get that fun with you. That's all right. Kyle, I'll just pull out the most of a criminology degree I've got. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's have fun with this, Maggie. <laughs> Although my character doesn't. But actually, no. no, what? You know what? She's lived in this town for hundreds She's of pretty years. smart, right? For a rich family, annoyingly smart. I'm not, but the character is, so I can go mm. with that. Okay. I'm going to say, fine. I'm not allowed legal counsel. Can I have that in writing? Yeah, we're asking questions here. <laughs> now, no, you're not. Yes, I need it in writing, otherwise, it's not valid in the court of law because then it's hearsay. <laughs> anyway. Very well, we will get you legal counsel. Thank you. 
you see them whispering to each other's. Um, so I didn't prepare a lawyer because I thought <laughs> you guys would. Um, who is Sorry, your family's you. lawyer? Come on. Oh shit! I didn't prepare a lawyer. Um, <laughs> you can make one up on the spot. I can. I can roll with that. Oh, Jacob's the one that's in our relationship is good at names. Um, oh, you can make up a name now as he's skulking around in some head uh, um, investigation. His name it. is Attorney Griffin Wrong. Griffin, Griffin Wrong. <laughs> I can't say the other I'm names touching. that I know of. Um, Thank you. I was like, did someone get it? <laughs> Griffin Wrong. I get it. Oh my god. Um, guess this this um. Rather than Phoenix, right? Yeah, Jacob. this this half elven man in like middle age, uh, slick slick hair, um, well dressed. Yep. He he comes in, he sits with you, and he's like a red suit with a blue tie. Red suit, blue tie. Yeah. He's like, uh, okay, um, please. Uh, I need time with my client, um, attorney and uh, client privilege. The yeah. cops get up and leave, and they're like, I like that. how you been? It's been so long. Thank you. How are you? I know. How's your family? How are the kids? Oh, excellent. They're doing well. Oh, They're going well. Lovely. They want to go and join the magisterium. We've sort of talked them out of it. Yeah, good, good. But um, I've been looking We need more lawyers. We, le- we need less wizards and in, more lawyers. Indeed. Uh, I've been looking over your, um, your file and it is pretty damning. Did you actually make a device that makes someone drown in their own juices? <laughs> I actually can't remember that one. <laughs> I think they've got those devices as evidence. They took them from your body. And apparently you had half a kilo with the finest drugs on you at the time of your arrest. Oh, I think <laughs> a friend may have done that as a joke, actually. That one's not me. I tried it once. <laughs> well, not that's that's going to be hard to... Uh, that's to, fine. Uh, we can deal with that. We can just pay someone off for that. But what I wanted to say is... Oh, what? <laughs> I think it's by the book. I've, I've got not how much bloody gold did I have on me. Well, that will probably cover your legal fees. This is going to take me a lot of work. Oh, I know. It's all right. Well, you're an old family friend. That's no problem. <laughs> but all I was going to say is my main thing. Is the scarred veil the king's jurisdiction? Because isn't that still up to debate? Well, it is up to debate. It was part of um, part of Elantra. Before the lich Before, war. but most of these occurrences allegedly happened in the Scarred Vale. Indeed. You could probably spin it that way, like, without the proper... Plus, uh, presumed victims attacked first. Well, that is, is the case. Like, many of their uh, victims are... Bandits and remnants. But, but we also have proof of goodwill, which would at least allow a plea bargain, if nothing else. I then mean, we also here. have where well, that's the last result. All I'm saying is necromancy is still illegal, right? The necromancy is highly illegal. That's why they're after your friend. Yeah. Um, if we could find him, I'm not confirming anything about him. That's irrelevant. <laughs> All I'm saying is if I was c- killing creatures, or destroying, not killing because they weren't alive, destroying undead creatures brought up by illegal necromancy, I'm actually doing that in service of the kingdom. Yes, but this was living, breathing individuals, even though they were bandits. Um, the device you let off actually, you know, flowed into another town and caused sicknesses. I didn't know that, but we could fix that. We could heal. I've been healing people. I would have fixed them up. We have a, we have a medical bear. We have a medical um, bear. <laughs> mm. We're going to have to do this properly, Alana. Like, the king is personally overseeing this trial. Which We're reeks to... of corruption. Oh, yes. It, this, is, this is treason, they're saying, against the crown. I don't know where they're getting all their information from, but... Well, also, counterpoint to that, <laughs> um, 
We killed the bandits on a quest from the Violet Guard themselves, so they should also be held accountable. It's true. He writes that down. So. I was this taking notes be... while you are interrogating everyone. <laughs> Excellent. Well, hopefully we have enough information to at least get a nice plea bargain. But it's going to be rough. But I think we can do and it. And also, as a descendant of a family which fought hard for the true and proper king against the lich... Why would I be against the kingdom? Indeed. We'll use that. It's writing to any sense. Well, they're looking Am I being to annoying you... yet? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, well, they're looking at putting you on trial tomorrow. So at least... Oh, okay, that's not valid amount of time. They wouldn't even give me legal counsel until they, I made them put it in writing. Something is shady is going on, but get to the bottom of it. We fight this properly. We fight this by the book. It's the best thing we could do. Your friends, uh, are they trustworthy? Incredibly. Excellent. Well, you know they'll be placing magical wards on the court, zone of truth and whatnot. Nobody yeah, the usual. Nobody will be able to lie without someone actually knowing. Outside of the game, do I have a previous criminal record at all? Not really, no. You I are known wait. for you know, causing a few um, mishaps and accidents, like random explosions and that. Yeah, but no damage. No, no, you haven't actually killed anyone. You may have, like, broke someone's leg once or something silly like that, but nothing like that would you know, warrant criminal record. A couple of cheeky rich girl under the table payments. Yeah, all yeah. sorted. Yeah, your parents <laughs> throwing money at it to make it go away. I'm in the okay. union, man. Yeah. I pay my taxes. <laughs> Taking back the means of production. Um, so now we've got that sorted. Dead eye. Did you come up with any plan while you're in this office? Okay, so the only plan that I've thought of is I would have flipped through um that the little magic book that i do have that i have been attempting to learn from um and i've only obviously picked up the basics but i'm hoping can you just ro maybe roll with me on this but let's mm -hmm. see i i've uh, read something about uh the spell sending and um the fact that it can be stored in certain stones i'm thinking seeing this is a well-ranking police officer <laughs> i'm gonna see if he's got any sending stones that could either go to somewhere like carnival or um obviously hoping for garage or if not just straight to the magisterium um for like general magical um inquiries you know, like uh you know a one three hundred uh I need magical <laughs> tech help like it's <laughs> offshore. Um, we said IT, have we? Have we yeah, like, it off and on again? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think I, I figured I blew my garage chance. A like, garage is what I want, but if I have to, if I have to uh, wizard IT, I'm going to try and wizard IT. All right. Um. So as I said, there's nothing fitting on the um. <laughs> Kyle, just quickly. Yeah. With the Violet Guard, <laughs> as they um, hired us to do the bandit stuff, yeah. they acknowledged our work and then provided a reward, right? Yes. Yeah, so they're definitely liable. Cool. <laughs> keep, that, keep that for the trial, Max. I have placed I'm something I knew you would quite enjoy. So don't worry. <laughs> I don't know if I'm being in character or if I'm just being Maggie being a dickhead. <laughs> I just imagine Alana being Maggie being a big kid. Um, <laughs> and if there's if there's not if there's not nothing specific in there, would in my percep in my from my perception before, would have I heard of any of the communication things being somewhere else? That's um, the only thing I can think yeah, of. If, I, this, I if, like if, if you're not if, going to be not, able to not. get into any of these drawers in your current state, but you do know that um, the magisterium do have links. Like sending stone stuff to you for general inquiries and, and this and that, and they would be in like a communications room. Okay, yeah, because the the whole point that I was going to try and do, if if there's no um nothing to the nothing that I can get to the mask would just be just to like the general most basic. IT is always basic; they're never high up. Um, like would go the most um general thing, and then just 
essentially try standing and be like, oh, I've, uh, I've accidentally lo- like locked my own drawer and everything and just get him to try and talk me to it just so I can try and do a slider hand check instead of an arcana. All right. So I'll say you, you make your way to the communications room where there is a, a young man there from manning the, the stones, the phones. Um, he's like, oh, can I, can I help you? Oh, so I'm not sneaky doing it. Okay. Uh, you um, walked into this room, this guy's sitting there. You're, you're being sneaky by pretending to be a well-dressed pilot guard. Um, all right, uh, so does he have a name tag? Um, oh, so I, I, I know yeah, no, let's, it, say, let's say, say his name is, um, is, um, Bartholomew. There you go. Hey, Bartho- Bartholomew, mate, how you going? Oh, uh, man, yeah, I haven't yeah. seen, I haven't seen you since the last Violet Guard Christmas party. You drunk so many purple, um, Purple Rains, man, we had that. We had a grand old time. Uh, what's the old mate? Um, the one that's in, that's uh, investigating all of Alana and everyone else. Uh, the the the, the, the uh, Lord Gordon Salworth. Yeah. Uh, the, oh, oh God, I like you know what he is. He's a bit of a hard ass, but he uh, just needs to consult with the magister- magisterium because um, he's trying to put this case together. With Alana, he just needs uh, just needs the sanding stone, mate. Um, I'll just. Uh, you know, I just sent me up here to grab it. Uh, deception check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Were you just seeing like uh, ultimate improv people this session? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Uh, it's not good. It's a natural eight. I don't know what um my modifier is for it though. Is that one sec? One second. I just find my modifier. Yeah. Think, uh, oh, and that yeah, uh, fourteen because it's a plus six because I got my deception pretty good. Okay. Okay. Insight on a 14. He's like, ah. You see him like trying to do like six jobs at once. He's like, ah. sure, sure. Um, I don't remember you though. Um, here, try. Oh, I, it was such a, it was such a big night. Like, oh, I, I could barely eat anything for days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, here, yeah. This is sending stone. Um, to to uh, um. The, the magisterium guard, um, they'll be able to help him with any of his inquiries. Um, I don't understand why he couldn't come and get it himself. He usually does, but busy times. <laughs> uh, lords and ladies and treason, you know how it is. Yeah, does he need to, I've never used one of these things anymore. Does he, like, does he need a code or something like that for them? Just speak into it. You speak into it. Oh, yeah, sick. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, buddy. Uh, yeah, see you next time. You see him like, try and taking calls. Drinks on Friday? Drinks on Friday. Jeez. Who was that? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I'm and then I'm gonna like go back to the office, so on and so forth, and yeah, try and contact Magical IT. And the the other like Magical yeah. IT. <laughs> or just because that that's that, that's what's in my head. I don't know. So let's right. just let's so, just see. So let's just see where they're activating happens. the sending stone and. What are you doing? Uh, so, do, like, do I know where it goes, or is it just to the magisterium? Just to the magisterium. You didn't ask for the magical IT one. You asked for <laughs> you asked for a sending stone <laughs> to the magisterium. <laughs> I thought that's what I meant. Yeah. I was trying to laugh at. All right, right, all right. You got a fourteen. This is what you got all with right. a fourteen. All right, I'm still I'm 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 still gonna activate it, and I'm gonna try that whole stick of just um I won't I won't say that I'm the big bad. I will just um uh, all right. Um. So yeah, I'll just say uh it's Captain Samuel Salmon Salmon of the uh, <laughs> the only thing I can think yeah, of of yeah, the Violet yeah. Guard. Um, we, we are standard draw like standard draw locks of um, I've had a problem had a problem with our standard draw locks here in the thing, and I've uh, accidentally locked my shop locked my um, night guard keys in my drawer. Uh, don't have any time here as we're all preparing for the big trial. 
I just need a bit of hand, just need a bit of help uh, you know, talking, <laughs> <laughs> talking through uh, how to bypass that. Jesus. I'm still, I, I, I'm still going on the magical IT route. Make, a, make a deception check. Another deception yeah. check because you're now onto a different person. Uh, that's, a lot, that, uh, that's a lot better. That's a 17. 17. I've been on phones all week in IT help, so the temptation then just be like, hi, thanks for calling Magical IT. Um, I'd be <laughs> so happy to help you out today. I think the first thing we need to do is some troubleshooting steps. What's your arcana yeah. like? Raise, raise, t- raise, t- raise a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, <laughs> you get a disgruntled, uh, dwarvish voice through your sending <laughs> stone going... Magical IT more. Wait a minute, yeah. He doesn't one? have magic. He doesn't have <laughs> IT. <laughs> yeah. so, Once again, just overtaking Carl's uh, game. You're here with Sandra Willowbeard. <laughs> this is the third time this week I've got calls in regards to you uh, mucking up our magical locks. Can I ask which drawer, in which area it is. Each one has its own passphrase to be opened. Right. Um, I'll just say it's uh, one on the one on the same level. I, I can't I, I can't say it's uh, I can't I can't say it's directly. So yeah, no, I'll um I I'll just say it's on the it's on the same level as uh, whatever you know level level six uh, thing. Just two down from uh, two down from old mate's office. Uh, the investigator, I can't remember uh, his name. Yes. Uh, uh, well, the draw books in there are. They're uh, all roughly. They're all roughly the same. <laughs> The draw locks are there are set to a certain number code. You'll find the number code written in a ledger behind the front desk. Is there anything else I can help you with? I don't have the you don't have the record of it there. I'm in a bit of a hurry. She's I'll leave I'll leave a ten out of ten that from motor school. <laughs> Very well. The code for your desk is seven four three eight five two. No. Just right. announce those numbers while holding on to the drawer, and the drawer should magically unlock for you. All right. Well, thank you very much for your help. You have a wonderful afternoon. I will try. <laughs> <laughs> this is a way out of hand now. <laughs> Those all right. Um, I, uh, all right. Um, seven four three eight one two. If I'm two doors down for it, um, can I try seven four three eight one four on that? I, I just want to try and get that a slide of hand check. I don't want to I do an archive check. I will allow you to go with. I, it's not a slide of hand check. It is going to have to be that kind of check. If you can yep. roll high enough. I will make this be as dumb as you want it to be. <laughs> but you have to roll high. I, I was just trying to make I was just trying to actually make it possible. But, this um, is this is yeah. possible. You've just got to fucking part of the cards it's this not, shit. <laughs> all right, this is the only thing I could think of. But all right, I'm just gonna give it a roll to try and get out like get into this thing. Uh so is it just an just an arcana? Yeah, arcana check. I think my arcana was plus two, it'll be sixteen if it is, because I rolled a natural fourteen. Sixteen. Won't be high enough with a sixteen. <laughs> You were trying to break into someone's actual fucking like lock private drawer, and you, mm-hmm. you try you try a different set of combinations, and you're not having any luck. Although, thanks to your lovely alert feed, you start to hear a very familiar voice getting closer and closer to the door of this office. Mm-hmm. The actual guy that owns this office. Uh, is there anywhere to hide? You're fucking dead eye Damon Downstrike. <laughs> you tell me where you're going to hide. You just stand behind a curtain and it's impossible to see you. 
<laughs> uh, should I do it properly or should I just like try and put a lampshade on my head? <laughs> like, no. It's got to be properly. Um, okay. So, um, so there, so there was, there was cabinets on, there was cabinet, the cabinets there's on the corner, the, the desk behind. There's the desk. <laughs> yeah. So roll, cabinets roll window. Stealth check first. If you're going to hide, or do whatever. Yeah, you're um, I'd, I'd still have advantage and all that. Blah blah blah. Yeah, so. you're still, you're still oh. you. No, no. no. Yeah. The chair. I need. I, I need. <laughs> sorry, I need it right away. Uh, yeah, it's still going to be a twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh, so where you? I got. I got. I got. I got. Uh, I'm actually going to. Oh, is the window open? Yeah, your window is unlocked. All right. Yeah, sweet. I'm going to try and uh, just jump out on the side and uh, hide down towards the window sill. Just hide. Yep. So you jump out to this window. Uh, kind, you kind of like um, a Sp- Spider-Man, the, like the reverse kind of Spider-Man 1, where yeah. like Green Goblin yeah. comes out and I'm just like doing that stuff. Yep, sure enough. You, you so go out the open window, you put it back to its position it was, hide up and, and listen as the door you opens. Nerd. It's great. As the door opens. As, uh, like Dungeons and Dragons. Lord, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord Gordon Salworth comes into the room with another individual and he's like, the interrogations are being more fruitful than expected. She, she's incriminated herself already. My God, she had drugs on her. How can you think of this bitch? I'm going to kill you for that, Jake. <laughs> I'm trying to save your ass. <laughs> I'm hijacking the game again. You right? planted drugs on me. Well, we have... Uh, Dareth and Jagger ready to testify against uh, against her. We have the skull of Francis Coleman. We just have to get the, the, the priest in to speak to it. Um, witnesses from Carnival, what they did to that Coltier assassin. The Coltier delegate himself. And her party members are the, there. One covered in all the dirt. Oh. He's perfect. <laughs> he is perfect. If only we could find the mage. So, yes, they say he's dead, but reports saying he fashioned himself a new body. Interesting. If we had him, he'd be on trial too for uh, illegal magics. But. Imagine Mozar just out in the distance somewhere, just somehow knowing they're Hitting talking about him, being like, you'll never this, catch me. Looking this t- tuning fork and they're just like... You see, like, um, Moz just quiver, shiver and, like, sneeze. What is that? No. So, but we actually have her devices ready. Um, yes, sir. Is there any way we could demonstrate that within the trials? Not without killing everyone in the room, sir. Do they have my cannon? Yes. Great. <laughs> you know I can detonate it now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to detonate your cannon? Maybe. I'll find out. <laughs> Fair enough. So, well, uh, the king wants to expedite this trial <laughs> tomorrow. I don't know why he's pushing so hard, but we're doing the king's work. Yes, the king's work, my lord. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Be ready. We have everything we need to put this one away. Well, we'll make a swing. What are you doing, did I? Um, I was just... I was just hoping to, uh, uh, I, was, yeah, I was hoping he'd open the bloody drawer. <laughs> um, I don't. Like, cause I've got a lot of the documents and everything like that. You've got that file that you haven't delivered. With um, everything in it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, I guess I'll just hang there to the, to the, um, they leave. Yeah. 
Well, you'll be there uh, for a few hours as they are. Oh, that's so Yeah. So they're, they're full there. Yeah, they're there. They're doing work. They're corroborating their, their testimonies and whatever for the for the trial tomorrow. Well, I'll listen for a little bit. Um, yeah, get the, get yeah you're getting more and more of what they said, a bit more. Yeah, but it is pretty much like the king is expediting it, ready to go tomorrow. Start, trial starts tomorrow midday. Um they are looking for you. Yeah. Um, I, I, afterwards, one, once I've heard everything, I get, I get knowing, knowing Alana, I know she would have got a thing. Um, because I'm not going to just attack and kill people in the middle of like a cop shop. Um, but I might pink Panther it around the side and try and get back into another like open window. That's, you know, unoccupied. You're enough with your big enough stealth check. Uh, just make me an a acrobatics check. Like, fucking, come on. Like, it's going to be... Mm. Oh! Uh, oh, no, my acrobatics is amazing, so it's still a pain. It's a <laughs> stick. <laughs> said, my, acrob- my acrobatics is a, no- is a nine, a plus nine, so I got a 15. Yeah, sure enough, sure enough. You may, you go around, you, this is, is an old building. One of the bricks does slip out of your hand and you almost fall. You catch it. You just spider man your way around, find another open window and you're back inside. But yeah. The day will progress. Night has fallen. You all stew in your cells waiting for the trial for the next day. Can I yeah. think you and I we must come first? I've got barry with me. You you were just in a cell. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Is there anything else yeah. anyone wants to do before we finish up this episode? And continue on next to our next episode. Same night for us, but we um, where we will go straight into the trial. Will we get another long rest after this? Uh, no, you have no. one long rest. Then on. Um, all your weapons have been taken. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. What do you cast your spells through? Have they taken every? Then you would have hit him pretty yes. much. Um, does my cloak? Take it over me too. Huh? My cloak or many things. That's been taken. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Have sorry. they taken everything off me? Yeah, you are pretty much in like a prison right. uniform. <laughs> These guys have been all right. They're they're just detained. You're been fully arrested. Oh, we need to take the same cell or different cells. So you're right. in different cells, split up. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't have my like, my little screwdriver sort of twist out me now. I don't have my little tool on me, do you I? You don't have anything of your stuff. You have been pretty much stripped bare. I mean, technically, I still can use magic. Yeah. Cool. I've just. Uh, I've got... So, assuming Rasu wasn't taken away from me, mm. as he's probably hiding in my clothing. Yeah, they left your rat with you, don't <laughs> worry. They've taken your weapons. That's fine. Not Rathew. Um, no, Rathew is a fucking weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assu- I assume they've taken, like, my my instrument thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you, <laughs> one can. I can, and, and like, my yet. broken, I think it's loot. Mm-hmm. Something else that I've got. A uh, loot with one a string. Loot. Yeah. I do have a bone loot. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Just, just scream. Oh, uh, what I can brain. do. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> what I can do is uh, my spiritual table. Yep, go for it. Uh, uh, so, a oh, question: Do yes. the piece of straws you buy? Can you use that as a musical instrument? I uh, probably could. You could use yeah. the buddy cup so, and the bars. As oh, well. that's <laughs> fantastic! <laughs> Didn't say stop. <laughs> so I, you can hand bone it for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, um... Hey, wait a minute. Yes? I have... I have, uh, in my languages, I've got telepathy. (laughs) Jay? You do that? I forgot. Where you I I forgot I can speak in people's heads. Um, how do you have Oh, it was a feat. It was a feat that I took. Oh, my God. (laughs) She, she's given everyone like Bluetooth ear implants, essentially. <laughs> yeah. 
Alright, well, I'm going to telepathically reach out to the guys because it's up to 60 feet. Yep. Sure. Sorry, enough. I totally. Anticipator is good. overwhelming. Um, um, he's, while he's doing his spirit table, what are you mm. doing? I'll reach out to Yagnar and be like, hey, I just realized I can do this. I'm in your head. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like I'm just there sleeping with, like, just. With Barry and I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I just wait, like, what the hell is going on here? I mean, it's just me. I just, there's a lot on my mind all the time. I just forget when I learn things and then it, it, this happens. You got but, her and then a lot of static. Yes. It's just her head coming through to your head. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have fun with that. Um, <laughs> what did, what did they, what did they do to you? Did they hurt you guys? Are you guys all good? Uh, I, I'm good. Barry's with me. Um, guys elsewhere. Um, everyone's split up when I can't see anyone. Um, they ask okay, about... Because you do have also a right to legal counsel. Yeah, yeah and it just goes, legal what? <laughs> <laughs> I got Someone who, back who home knows laws to like, talk to you. I don't know what what are you talking about. This, 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 none of this makes sense to me. I... If something doesn't change. happen no, I'm on... See, I'm the I make the rules that I tell them. I, <laughs> I, 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 the I, mean, yeah. I follow things. My father was like, I don't understand what's going on. He's like, just say, just say to them, if they, if they say you crime. did anything wrong... Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. All I'm going to say <laughs> is if they say that you did anything bad and it wasn't on their land, they can't do anything to you about it. Well, they did say something about me killing my, my uncle who killed my father father and mother was wrong. Yeah, but that's on it's... your own cultural lens, so they don't have any jurisdiction, so you're fine. <laughs> They're racist? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are racist. That's why we unionize here. Oh. <laughs> Take back the means of production. <laughs> no, Kyle, because everyone deserves a good super fund. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh, what have I done? Thank you. <laughs> You've let me go full lefty, mate. Yeah, no problem. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> um, um, I'll reach out the guy, but I assume I'll just get weird rat noises in response. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would, I would have been making my making my way down towards the guys at one point, anyway. Yeah, I'd say you make your way down to the dungeons and, like, miraculously. Um, convince a guy to, that it is um, ship swap. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm g- going to give Alana all the information that I gathered, um, as well as it was the was it was she lantern that French spy that they really don't want us to talk about. The no, no the, it was a Caltiran spy. Yeah, oh, Caltiran like, spy. Yeah, yeah. The, um, but they, they've, they've got her, but they don't want her being called up as a witness or anything. No, they want, they've got, they um, they've got... Oh, you said that... Delegate, you said that they don't you want that, Lady Al- Alana Gallenwood, the... The the, the, uh, the violent guard that you helped. The violent guard commander that you helped at Fort Kane. I'll tell that to Alana and ask her... Ask her I what she like wants to do. Could. This fucking king has always been corrupt, and everyone said it. But then he got some some fancy sword, and then like, yes, that's at the birthright, actually, or the the holy sword, king, right? Sword. But mm. it ain't. It... You don't happen to know how to open the drawer, do you? <laughs> 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 what drawers are they? I know. Mean, explain it, but arcane locked drawers. Yeah, probably. I don't know. It can't be that hard. It's not like they have anything. Uh, as I say that, I'm going to be like, it's not like they lock anything else well here and just take the manacles off. <laughs> Your cell door is locked. But then I one look at it, you go, yeah, I can pick that. <laughs> do you want Do you want me we're to pick it? We're doing the greatest game right now. Is that what we're doing? I think we're going to get there. Maybe we could. <laughs> My family lawyer is going to be annoyed. Let yeah, we'll, let, let, let him let him know. I can I can I can break his out. <laughs> Do you want to break out? 
Oh, yeah. okay, but we, I don't know because this is happening. This is them two happening. We're not even near this. on how hectic it gets. Yeah, but Al- Alana can c- telepathically communicate to them. She also um, I'm just looking at a certain thing first. And we don't have our weapons. Uh, yeah. This would probably be a good, be a good break. A good break time anyway, because I, I asked a question. I don't know if Alana can do something. Well, yeah, we're we're getting on. So what I'll do is we're going to end there for this episode, and when we pick up for next week's episode, we'll see if these idiots want to, you know, break out a present, <laughs> or you know, go and defend themselves in a trial. <laughs> An unfair trial, it seems. Mm. A very unfair trial. <laughs> Well, let us see where the winds take us in our next episode. I thank you for watching, and I hope you're enjoying our one-hour episodes because, hey, they're a bit easier for me to maintain and edit and upload. So and watch. And watch. So we will see you again in one week. We'll be back in five minutes, but, hey, that's how this works. I thank you, and I'll see you all soon. Mm-hmm.